What's up, my fans? Long time no see. I've been missing y'all. Hi, everyone. Little Daisy, why do you sound so glum? Only you can sleep so soundly at night when something this big is about to go down. Huh? Shouldn't we be glad that something big is going down in Syndicate? It's a once in a blue moon event. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen! And especially our dear sinners. Listen up. The new Chi is about to take office to help everyone stay in one piece. <laughs> I mean, protect themselves. Dead Lover Radio is going to share with y'all some really special, useful lessons and knowledge. You're welcome. <coughs> Ow! Be serious now. The new chief is about to take office and will probably confront us sinners in the future. Starting today, we will be introducing some self-defense tips for everyone. That's right! Let's start things off with the most exciting bit, interrogation. It's a skill that every chief has mastered. The self-help class for sinners is now officially in session. Interrogation, as the name suggests, is when the chief questions a captured sinner and tricks them into spilling what the chief wants to know. No, it's not just some word tricks. According to those unlucky sinners who got captured, they were bound to their chairs. And the chief did this and that and this and that to them. Oh, love really can't bear to hear these kinds of things. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> yet you were the one who was most eager to interview the victims. Anyways, the chief will first gather helpful evidence for themselves, then train the captured sinner to a certain level of compliance. After that, the chief will personally interrogate the sinner. Mm-hmm, that's right. The chief will use these so-called pieces of evidence to interrogate the sinners and record any discrepancies. They will tell you that the interrogation is for the sinner's own good, and that it's a chance to solve their mysteries and prove their innocence. Do you buy that? No way I'm buying that! <laughs> However, it is indeed a good chance to get to know a sinner. After all, our powers are mostly products of our hellish fates. The chief gets paid by the bureau if the interrogation succeeds, so the chief's interrogation motives are self-explanatory. But we must use our powers to resist as much as possible. Ugh, I can't imagine what terrible things would happen if the chief succeeds in fishing incriminating info out of me. Oh, don't worry. The chief isn't guaranteed to succeed. It may look like it's the sinner who's lost their freedom, but it's hard to say who's the hunter and who's the prey. If the chief fails, a corpse may not even be found in one piece. <laughs> you see, a gentle sinner like Ariel is very cooperative with the chief's interrogation. She's susceptible to both good cop and bad cop tactics. This is a textbook example of what not to do. As a sinner, the first rule of counter-interrogation is to be ferocious at all times. You can't look weak. I hear that <laughs> loves to cuss others, which is excellent. Saved you like an idiot. Hey, who are you cussing? Come cuss me if you dare. Rule number two, use your abilities to fight back. Not <laughs> are great examples. Especially when it gets to sensitive questions, even the slightest carelessness from the chief can cause... Well, the chief might just pass out. That's right. Look at that dumb chief getting controlled by Camellia's mind just like that. <laughs> Here's a tip from Love. An in-depth research about the chief's MBTI type may come in handy for self-defense. That seems about it for our counter-interrogation lesson. Can I go now? What's the rush? Let me share some precious photos of everyone who's been caught. I paid a lot of dough to Whitestone for these. I can't let six months worth of rent and food go to waste. I'm leaving. You show them by yourself. Well, well, well. What do you think? What do you think? Exciting. Fun. Amazing. Do you like it? Love it? Want to marry it? Don't forget. We'll meet on April 5th. Actually, no, tomorrow, Dead Lover Radio will continue to show you the survival skill of join him if you can't beat him.